the Pretty Little Liar star comes out in public as he pays heartfelt tribute to his lover on their 18th wedding anniversary. Let's take a look at what he had to say about his anniversary in his Instagram homage in today's video, as well as everything we know about the upcoming Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, a new reboot of the show. Keep an eye on the video to learn more about the PLL star's tribute and other PLL news. First, Lucy Hale opened up about involvement in Pretty Little Liars reboot. If you were hoping to see Lucy Hale in Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, it's time to let go, at least for the time being. Lucy addressed speculations about her involvement in the long-awaited PLL reboot in a new interview with Variety, and it appears that neither she nor any of the original Liars will participate in the new series. As far as I know, Lucy said concerning a possible cameo, no one from the original is engaged in any way. Lucy, too, denied any involvement behind the scenes. That isn't to say she isn't keeping an eye on the production. She told Variety, From what I understand, it's going to be pretty gloomy. I see why am I. The main cast of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin was completed this summer. Bailey Madison, Malia Piles, Zaria, Chandler Kenny, and Maya Rafiko will play the titular five characters. The series is set to broadcast on HBO Max in 2022. Even if cameos from the original ensemble appear to be off the menu right now, the Gossip Girl revival has taught us to never give up hope. Lucy told Variety that she's always striving for something a little different in her work. Her new show Ragdoll just debuted, and she's also getting ready to release the rom-com The Hating Game and survival thriller Borrego in 2021, as well as the literary comedy Big Gold Brick in 2022. Next, Lucy Hale opens up about going through a dark time after Pretty Little Liars ended in 2017. Lucy Hale is opening up about her post-Pretty Little Liars existence. Hale says that reality hit her heart when her seven-year run as Aria Montgomery on the blockbuster freeform teen drama came to an end in 2017. It was such a crazy experience to be part of something that was massive on a global scale, Hale tells People in this week's issue on Newsstands Friday. The show changed our lives overnight. We were so young, so busy and overworked, but you're up on this mountain and you're like, everything is so great. People love us. Hale, 32, says she started noticing the little things she valued about herself outside of her profession after taking a step back and looking inside, such as being a good friend and loving dog parent to her two Maltipoos, Ethel and Elvis. After taking a step back and looking inward, she recounts how she's had to spend a lot of time alone. She describes how she's reached a place in her career where she enjoys what she does, but she also enjoys who she is outside of it. To her, that's a significant achievement since she didn't think she'd ever be able to say that about herself. Hale, who also appears in the AMC Plus series Ragdoll and the upcoming rom-com The Hating Game, is now filming the storied life of AJ Fickrey in Boston. She says the simple things makes her happy these days. Why marriage isn't in the cards for Shea Mitchell and boyfriend Matt Babel. Shea Mitchell exclusively confirmed to E! News Daily Pop co-host Justin Sylvester on August 3rd that she is in no rush to get married to partner Matt Babel after delivering daughter Atlas in October 2019. I don't know whether I've done everything in order, the Pretty Little Liars alum jokes. I didn't marry until after I had a child. I had a child but did not marry. I'm not sure if that's in the cards for us. Maybe it's just me, but I believe we both agree. Mitchell has reportedly been dating TV host Babel since 2017. Mitchell is unlikely to walk down the aisle anytime soon, despite the couple's four years together. She describes how she enjoys not having to worry about anything. She enjoys the fact that they can come home every day and say, wow, I chose you and you chose me, because it keeps them on their toes and gives her the freedom to walk out at any time without fear of legal repercussions. This, she believes, maintains the relationship enticing and sexy. With her growing taut atlas, the shop girl summer guest editor is simply enjoying life. Mitchell may even be expecting a second child after being inspired by celebrity quarantine babies. Damn, if we're going back in there, I might as well do it again, the U star said. What about the reports 
that she'll be a guest star on the new Pretty Little Liars reboot? Never say never, Mitchell hinted. I'm excited for Bailey Madison. She's going to crush it. That was such a memorable moment in all of our lives, so I'm excited to see whatever happens and wherever they take it. Now that we've discussed a range of current Pretty Little Liars news about the show and its original cast members, it's now time to get into the real reason you clicked on the video. Let's delve into the information we have regarding Julian Morris and his tribute to his partner he shared via Instagram, as well as all the news we have surrounding the Pretty Little Liars reboot, like who we can expect to be cast in it and when we might get to see the show. Stay tuned to the video to hear all about these details. Pretty Little Liars star comes out in touching anniversary post. Julian Morris, who plays Julian on Pretty Little Liars, revealed his relationship status in a heartwarming Instagram post. The actor, who has previously been on Once Upon a Time, New Girl, and 24, recently celebrated his 18th wedding anniversary with his partner Landon Ross. Both of them uploaded a number of images showing the two looking in love, cuddling up together, falling asleep, enjoying sunny vacations, attempting to ice skate, and performing some strange dance. His post wrote, 18 years together, and they were the best ones because they were with you. I love you at Landon Ross, Julian wrote. While Landon captioned his post with, beginning our 19th year is the best thing in life, I love you. Keegan Allen, Julian's Pretty Little Liars co-star wrote, it made my heart explode. Game of Thrones and Iron Fist actor Finn Jones said, adding, I love you both, congrats. I'm obsessed with you both, love, 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 commented Jamie Winston. While Zelda Williams wrote, to put this achievement in perspective, if I discovered love tomorrow, I'd be 50 by the time I celebrated that milestone. I adore you and your love for each other. Very touching and warming to see his love for his partner and feel comfortable sharing this to the world on Instagram. Everything we know about Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. Prepare yourself, liars. A great new series is on its way to town. That's right, a new Pretty Little Liars spinoff. Pretty Little Liars Original Sin is in the works. And you don't want to get on A's wrong side when she starts causing problems for these brand new characters. Things won't be the same when we return to our favorite universe. But thanks to Riverdale creator Roberto Aguirre Sacasa bringing the story to life, it will be fascinating. Malia Piles and Zaria have joined HBO Max's PLL revival, according to Deadline, rounding out the main cast. Minnie, the youngest of the new liars, will be played by Malia. Chandler Kenny and Maya Rafiko will join the cast as the show's leads, according to Deadline in July 2021. On August 19th, series creator Roberto Aguirre Sacasa confirmed the news by posting a snapshot of all the new liars to Instagram, showcasing that the cast is complete. According to Just Jared Jr., filming for the new series began the week of August 9th. Thus, we may expect to see it in 2022, if not earlier in 2023. While you may believe we're returning to Rosewood, we'll be going somewhere altogether different this time. The drama will follow a fresh generation of young girls who live in Millwood, a separate village, who are tormented by an unknown assailant and forced to pay for a secret transgression committed by their parents two decades earlier. So it'll be centered on the same lies and drama, but with a different cast and a different town. The project will also bring the Pretty Little Liars to a new network, in addition to the new showrunners. This show, unlike the previous Pretty Little Liars spinoffs will air on HBO Max. There you have it, all the latest news regarding Pretty Little Liars and its original cast members. What a beautiful tribute Julian made to his long-term partner. It was such a bold and brave move for him to post this to the world, but it shows he is proud and happy in his relationship. And how exciting is it that they are creating a reboot of the show? We'll have to keep an eye out for this to air. Leave us a comment down below on your thoughts about the reboot. Will you be watching it? We hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.